Little people, Big World's Matt Roloff is free from his NDA, and he has some shocking revelations to share about the farm and his son, Zach Roloff. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, please subscribe and keep watching for more details. Matt Roloff is taking responsibility for his actions regarding the sale of Roloff Farms, expressing pride in Zach's accomplishments. Amy Roloff disagreed with Matt's handling of the farm sale, hoping for lower prices for her sons. The confusion surrounding the sale of the farm led to tension between Matt and Zach, with Jacob running the farm temporarily. Matt Roloff's journey on Little People, Big World has been notoriously fraught, but he's revealed new information after a non-disclosure agreement expired. The Roloff family is in shambles after Amy Roloff and Matt's divorce. Amy remarried Chris Merrick following her divorce from Matt, while Jeremy Roloff and his wife, Audrey Roloff, decided to leave the show to focus on other endeavors. Despite these shifts, Zach Roloff and Tori Roloff remained committed to his family and the farm. However, everything changed in Little People, Big World Season 25. Matt put a portion of the farm, including their original family home, up for sale without consulting his children. This move deeply hurt Zach, as he felt betrayed by his father's actions. Things only got worse when Matt offered the land to Zach for a price he couldn't afford, signaling to Zach that his father had no intention of passing on the farm to him. The strained relationship between Zach and Matt escalated, with disagreements popping up online. Matt now has more to say about what happened with his son. According to US Weekly, Matt shared a lengthy Facebook post on April 26, 2024, after his NDA expired. The news outlet detailed Matt's open expression of the mistakes he made regarding the sale of the family farm. Most importantly, he expressed pride in Zach's accomplishments and he would prefer a mended relationship. Matt is traditionally a prideful person, so while he didn't fully apologize or express regret for how the farm sale went down, he wishes it would have gone differently. The reality TV star detailed, I can't say I handled it without some mistakes and missteps regarding the farm sale. He continued, it hasn't been easy, especially all while being filmed, and sometimes even very painful. But in the end, it's all been productive, and although in hindsight, I would change several of my processes. I believe the results are better, and I love watching all the kids find their independence and passions on their own terms. That's as close as Matt will venture to express regret. He knows how he handled the situation that wounded Zach and their relationship. Emmy and Matt have also clashed regarding his farm sale decisions. In an episode from March 2024, Amy expressed her sadness about the state of the farm. In a conversation with friends Lisa and Deb, she shared how the farm feels different since Matt is building a new house there with his fiancée Karen, alluding to her disagreement. Amy felt the farm was empty, but understood that the divorce set these issues into motion. Amy sold her 32 acres of the family farm to Matt in 2020 for $975,000. She hoped that selling her half would facilitate a repurchase by her older sons. However, Matt handled this differently than Amy would have hoped. Matt eventually paid $1,642,000 to own the entirety of Roloff Farms, leading to tension between him and Zach. Zach felt cheated by his father's counteroffer, which differed significantly from his initial offer based on what Matt bought Amy out for. Amy regretted selling the farm to Matt, hoping he would negotiate a lower price with her sons. The sale of Roloff Farms has been quite confusing. In May 2022, Matt initially listed 16 acres, including the original family home, for sale at $4 million. However, he withdrew the listing in December 2023, after reducing the price to $3,395,000. After the unsuccessful sale, Matt transformed the property into a short-term rental, allowing guests to stay in the family home starting November 2022. Therefore, it seems the farm has not been sold, and he and Karen are still living on the property. Matt revealed Jacob Roloff is currently running the entire farm. However, this is not a long-term solution. Matt has previously stated on the show that Amy will inherit the property after his death to avoid conflicts among their children, and Karen agrees with this arrangement. While the farm decisions undoubtedly tore the Roloff family apart, Matt appears to have expressed some regret. 
He can do nothing to go back in time, but perhaps with some humility, he and Zatch can heal, even if Zatch and Tori's little people, Big World Tenure is over.